Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. My GF33F of four years had a guy call me 29M, threatening to assault me, if I ever did anything to her at 5am, when she told me she went to go see her son, whom her mom takes care of. The guy told me I was creating drama, and lol needed to go. Why can't people just break up in a normal fashion? I started noticing that my GF was gone a lot. Her responses were that I wasn't giving her any affection, which is hard if she's either sleep, drunk. I started noticing the signs and it got to the point where I began to suspect she was seeing someone else because of the insane amount of obligations she suddenly had to her friends. She would do the classic nonsense of deny, say that I'm paranoid, crazy insecure, and assured me if she wanted to sleep with someone else she would leave the relationship. Yesterday she told me suddenly that she has to go see her son play tennis and that her mom was picking her up. It's not my job to play detective, but I simply said cool, and she left. I woke up today to her ringing my phone early in the morning. I didn't answer because I didn't think it was that serious, but she proceeded to continue. I answered and it was a guy. He asked me why my number is in her phone and I told him I'm with her and she lives with me. He loses his shit and asks me if we are intimate. I say yes, and he calls me a liar interestingly enough. He tells me to move on and threatens my life, if I make things difficult. Never tells me his name, and continues to say that I'm making things difficult, mind you it is 5am and I was just sleeping. She's in the back ducking screaming that we don't screw, and my mind is blown that these are real human beings. I hang up, and this guy sends me voice messages that I have yet to listen to. Not sure what I did, I ate chicken last night and was watching Fear the Walking Dead. BTW Morgan is a horrible character. Box her shit up and leave it on the porch. Change the locks too. Can't she's on the lease, sucks to suck I guess. Then pack your shit, tell the leasing office you're leaving and go. Works differently. I'm an American working in Germany. Laws are ass about leases. Gotta wait three months. My 33F cheated on me M29 on me for several months gaslighting me, but threw it in my face that she had cheated, accused me days before I found out, and had the guy threaten me using her phone, then proceeds to tell me we have a chance together if I change my behavior? WTF. Rant. I had been with my GF for four years when I moved to Germany. The relationship definitely had its issues, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that if she wanted to break up she wouldn't be justified, as I am on the other end. I went to Amsterdam a few weeks ago and noticed when I came back that same day she said she wanted to go out and drink, which isn't an issue with me. The problem started when she never came home and didn't give me any update as to where she is. I called her and she got irritated and said she is with a friend as she is allowed to, and she's just hanging out. I was just simply asking to see if my GF whom I live with was okay. She proceeds to be gone for a few days, comes back two days later, and tells me that she is going to go hang out with her son whom her mom has custody of. I think nothing of it, but I noticed she seems eager to be gone fairly quickly after just being gone for a few days. Her attitude is weird and no something isn't right when I text and call. She begins to say that I'm controlling, and am making accusations that she is up to something when she isn't. Stupidly of her, one morning I get a phone call from her, from a guy who proceeds to threaten me, and say he will kick my ass. I hung up, and later on that day she told me that it was one of her girl's boyfriends who she told shit about me and he felt sorry and wanted to get revenge, when she was supposedly with her son to begin with. I'm starting to see the bullshit, so I call the friend, and her story completely falls apart, as the friend has not seen my ex in months, nor does she have a boyfriend. I call my ex and she completely throws it in my face she's been with another dude for several months and I should have known that things were not good. 
The day before this she had been blocking and unblocking me, accusing me of talking to other women. How insulting. Yesterday I saw her as she stopped by to pick up clothes before she went to duck this guy I assume dot and she tells me he's leaving Germany in two months, and since she's still on the lease, she would like to remain friends right, and rekindle a relationship. She told me she doesn't want to cut him off and that breaks are normal. At this point I realize that I have no idea who the duck I've been in love with for four years, and don't understand what human being rationalizes such garbage, with a straight face. Any normal person wouldn't have let such nonsense come out of their mouth. She leaves and texts me hours later, and again in the mornings about how she wants to cut him off, and give me a second chance. If I change my behavior, someone will tell me that I'm not ducking crazy. Wow. I'm hoping you realize you must cut contact and move on. Shit is mad hard, but I have four years of insane stories to confirm I am indeed not crazy. Stuff no one would believe. Four years of insane stories and you are still with her? Mate I don't know what to say, you seem more crazy for staying with someone like that for this long. Spill the beans. I walked in from work and there was a guy hidden in my bathroom that she claimed was never there. Ducking madness. Man. Could she have done anything to make you leave? Seems like you were pretty addicted to the toxicity too. You've got serious codependency issues to work through. Didn't realize how spineless I was. That wasn't love. I just needed someone. So I was willing to be a punching bag. Read up on codependency. There had to be an unhealthy level of that present for you to be repeatedly abused by her and still make no changes. Read codependent no more. I knew I was and how it affected me, I just didn't know where it stemmed from. You're definitely not alone. Wasn't until she cheated and I posted my story on Reddit that I began to realize how much of a doormat I had become. Being separated from her now, wife of 10 years, has been unbelievably empowering and positive for me. Still was so so hard to walk away and is really sad at times. I was at work, had the key to her place before we both moved in together. Walked in and she was so drunk she couldn't talk and there were three dudes in the apartment I had never met before. Embarrassingly enough to say, I'm sure she got railed by all of them in hindsight. She was recently divorced and told she didn't know how to handle being in a new relationship. Yikes. I'd say dodged a bullet there if you hadn't just spent four years on a horrible human being. Hope you can trust and find happiness again. Only the best. The illusion of love. Have you ever talked with her ex-husband? This will probably show you that she's been toxic in past relationships, and I bet one M dollar she is toxic. I have and she ducked him over bad. Dude at first I was feeling pity for you. But damn this just reads like you were addicted to being a doormat. What is this, a sick fetish or something? Honestly someone should have slapped some reality into you yesterday. My, 34F, ex cheated on me 29 meters, last month lost the ability to walk in which I stayed by her side the entire process through her spinal surgery, and now says she wishes I was never there, and how I was selfish, and used the opportunity to look like a better person. Why are people like this? I was still grieving the fact that my ex had cheated on me and tossed away four years for a fling and lied every step of the way. She suddenly developed spinal issues and couldn't walk. So being the ducking fool I went and saw her every day bringing her any stuff from the apartment that she needed. The day of her release after surgery she tells me she wants nothing to do with me, okay? I'm not entitled to being with her, in fact I have no desire to after she cheated on me, it was her finding fault in what I did for her, while she was helpless. I washed her ducking body as she laid there helpless, because I care about her. But I guess I did it for the clout as she says. She left as soon as she got surgery to go get drunk, go figure. Just be glad that you don't have to waste any more time on her now. You can invest into the right person that deserves to have you now. Right now the person that op should invest in is op. 
and hope the next guy sees her true colors quickly. She will do this again. She's just mad that you're a better person than she is. Probably feels guilty for what she did and can't face herself. Plus you blew her cover story. How is she gonna tell everyone how awful you were when you were by her side helping her recover? Take care op, one day you're gonna meet someone as equally as awesome as you. Shit never thought about that. Mate, you are a saint one day there will be someone you meet that deserves your kindness, never lose who you are, you are the best. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 